Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the Windows Update Error Code 0x8007002 that you're experiencing on your Windows 11 computer. So this may occur on Windows 10 as well as Windows 7 and Windows 8. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to be covering Windows 11. And this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu. Type in Troubleshoot. Best result should come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go select underneath Other Troubleshooters. Go ahead and left-click on that. And select Windows Update and select the Run button. And if it's able to locate or identify anything, I'd recommend following along with the on-screen prompts. And hopefully that should have resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue, something else we can try here as well if we close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in File Explorer. Best result should come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and open that up. Select this PC on the left side. And then double click on your local disk where Windows is installed. Just go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the Windows folder. And then there should be a software distribution folder in here. Go ahead and double click on that. And then highlight over all the items in this list. Right click. And then you want to delete them. You can also tap the delete key on your keyboard too. It's fine. Go ahead and check mark where it says do this for all current items and select skip. If any of these items are still open, you can just close out of here. So what we're going to do at this point is just minimize out of here. Open up the search menu, type in services, best match to services, go ahead and open that up. Locate the background intelligent transfer service, double click on that. Make sure service status is stopped, so select the stop button, then select OK. And then go down to the Windows Update service and do the same, so make sure they're both turned off here. And we're just going to minimize services and, and then just go back to the File Explorer window. And then just delete all the items in here that were unable to be deleted before. And now you want to open up services again. Double click on Windows Update. You want to start the service. As well as the background intelligent transfer service. Double click on that. You want to start that service as well. And then OK. Close out of here. OK. Close out of here and restart your computer. And now you can go ahead and check for updates. And hopefully at that point you should be good to go. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a buzz able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.